Good morning, dogs. It's game day. Sports, weather, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just a reminder that the Booster Club will have pork burgers at the concession stand again this year for our Friday night football games. Kona Ice and Traveling Toms will be at the games as well. Debit cards will be accepted and bring your friends and come help support the dogs. There is an Indiana Ready Mixed Concrete Association scholarship for juniors and seniors enrolled in the four-year education or engineering program. You can apply online at irmca.com. The deadline is Friday, August 30th. Another reminder is that Mr. Niehaus is looking for students to run the scoreboard at the soccer games. This is a paid position and you will get paid $15 for a single game and $25 for a varsity and JV game on the same night. If you're interested, please stop by the athletic office to pick up a schedule. Now for everybody's favorite segment of the day with Brody and Damaris. We have unfortunately ran out of questions, but not to worry. Barley came up with a question on his own and now sending it to Brody and Damaris for today's question. I'm here with Brody and Damaris, and the question of the day is, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> oh, no. You don't know? I, I believe it's 47. 47. That's all for us. Send it back to your host. I think so, too. Now sending it to Mr. Cornman with sports. Thanks, Alyssa. And what's up, dogs? We finna start off with the results of the game last night, starting with varsity soccer. The soccer team bounced back from a 2-1 loss to Logan Sport on Tuesday with a 7-0 win against Western Boone. Sebastian Mora had a hat trick, and Reagan Jesus Sandoval, Oscar Ca Castro, and Andreas each added one goal, assisted by Fernando Campos, Oscar Castro, Oscar Flores, Andreas and Orlando, Sebastian Aguilar, Espinoza had two saves, and for the JV, the JV team bounced back with the 2-2 tie to Logan Sport on Tuesday with a 9-0 win against Western Boone. Mauricio Valles Hernandez had four goals, Angel Lopez added three goals, and Miguel Garza and Adrian Sanchez had one goal each. Angel Lopez had three assists on the night. Alan Carrera Jim Jimenez had two assists, while Yesha Rojas, Johnny Vasquez Valdez, Salvador Carrillo, and Alex Martinez each had one assist. Jesus Mira Mora <laughs> had one save, and Juan Garcia Chavez had two saves. Unfortunately, there are no results for girls' soccer last night. But volleyball also had a great night. Both the JV and varsity volleyball teams opened conference play with a sweep against Southmont for the second game in a row. Grace Myers started off the night with three aces, scoring six points. By the end of the match, Grace would have nine aces and two kills. Kinley Myers had three kills and four aces. And Aaron Wills had three aces, two digs. Bella Vega had led the team in four digs. For the varsity, Lily Rockhold had another exciting match with 15 kills, hitting .500 on the night. Lily also picked up nine digs. Jalen Smith also had a big night with 26 assists, three kills, and seven digs. Ella McAtee led the serving effort with three aces, along with several service runs. She also picked up seven digs. Caroline Queen led the defensively with uh, 10 digs. Justine Thomas had five kills. Andy Keck had four kills. And Chloe Mowdy added a kill and a solo block. Morgan Harrington had an ace and three digs. And Ashley Zang was six for six, serving the line with seven digs. The team heads to North Montgomery on Tuesday to continue conference play. And also, everyone should go vote for Jalen for preseason player of the year. It's on the JC Online social media pages. Make sure to vote. And for the boys' tennis team, they also had a successful night. The Hot Dogs were able to come out with a win. Number one doubles, Jack Michael and Sam McTee 
were able to beat their opponent in two sets to give the dogs their first point. Kelby Santos at three singles quickly followed with the second point. I see Jimenez and Landon Stewart kept things interesting as they as they won the second set in a tie break and then made quick work in the third set winning six to one to bring the team a win. Big dubs. That's it for today's or that's it for yesterday's sports and now for today and tomorrow. The football team kicks off their season here at the yard against Clinton Central at seven o'clock. It'll be the first game of the season, also senior night, so make sure you pop out and cheer on your team and make sure to be loud for the football team to get the energy up. That's what we need to succeed, baby. And the Saturday uh, boys and girls cross country team competing Jacob Groff invite at 9 a.m. at Logan Sport. And the boys soccer, and the boys soccer team have a uh, Frankfurt invite here starting at 9 a.m. Also tennis has a match at Benton Central at 11 a.m. Oh, and that's it for the sports. Sending it to Alex for weather. What's up, dogs? The weather today should be pretty nice with a low of 51 and a high of 81. It will be sunny, so get outside. That's all for weather. Now sending it back to your hostess. Thanks, Farley. There will be a Coach Kids Parent Call-Out meeting September 4th from 6 to 6.30. For lunch today in lines 1 and 2 is breakfast bagel and lines 3 and 4 are salad bar. A happy birthday goes to Carlos Hernandez, Melvin Lopez Moranga, Azul Mejia, and Kaylin Rogers. That's all for the announcements. Make sure you guys sit in the student section tonight and show up with energy. Now that's all. Have a great day, hot dogs. Okay.